let's see, it's what, mid-April, so April 14th, and I've got all the wood chips down, and then I, um, I cleaned up out here, I mowed the lawn because it's that, well, I, I call it a lawn, it's green anyway. Um, I thought it was going to rain later, they're still saying we might have storms, but we'll see. Um, but, yeah, things are, ah, going okay, let's see, I think there's like, there might be little fruits coming on here, I don't know, we'll see, those are the cherries, um, there's lots of blossoms on the black currants, both this one and the one in front of the house, and all the figs are finally coming back to life, got little bits of, uh, green coming out so that's good some of my peas that I reseeded are coming up in here and um, I'm gonna let them grow up on these little um, cages <laughs> I actually put in some of these teeny tiny peppers and tomatoes that I started from seed I'm not I, I will see how they do uh, I've got some arugula coming up and some I think that's a mustard there plus some kale that's self-seeded in a couple of spots. I've got a lot of uh, cilantro well not relative to the purple shiso but a little a fair bit of little cilantro coming up here and there which I will use. Um, the beans are not I think I saw one of them pushing up somewhere. Oh, yeah. There's one <laughs> out of many. Um, yeah, everything's looking pretty good except for it being very, very dusty with pollen. But that's just the way it is. I continue to randomly thin this. Um, collection of plants in here. That looks like it might be dill. And that's nigella right there. And then all kinds of poppies are in here. Avery was sitting on the oats earlier. <laughs> Which was kind of silly. I put some basil seed in and I also put this uh, some basil plants in as well. And do I have anything exciting, new and exciting to show you that I didn't? Well, this is doing well. This, I believe, is my uh, milkweed. Um, should be for the butterflies. The nasturtiums and the cosmos that were the little seedlings that I put in that I thought were not going to do very well are actually kind of doing okay. Oops, sorry, <laughs> I was waving to that person that went by. I forgot I had a camera in my hand. Um, there we go. I'm excited for all the bread seed poppies, although I am going to have to thin them. But there's also some California poppies coming up as well, which if I can get enough of them, then I can do some, some tincturing. I've got more uh, sweet peas coming up. And the anise hyssop is growing like crazy. I've got an awful lot of anise hyssop. And the echinaceas are doing pretty well too. And the chamomile. Uh, let's see, what do we have over here? <laughs> the burdock. And the goji is quite thick since I trimmed it back a bunch, but yeah, I have some little radishes that are almost almost ready for picking in here. So, um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Some that I reseeded there. Rosa rugosa. I put, oh yeah, there's one. That is um, a safflower. I put in some safflower seeds in here, which are what these seedlings are but they look pretty bad um, because I'm just like not very skilled at starting seeds inside, I guess. But that's okay. Um, 
because now I have seedlings coming up in here and that's exciting. Wormwood. I couldn't remember the name of that last time. It's wormwood. And all of this stuff is weeds. So at some point when I feel like I've got some time where I want to do something meditative, I'll come out here and get those. There should be some other kind of poppies in here. Um, there are these red kind of classic poppies like when you think of like poppies on uh, Veterans Day. I don't see where they are now. I saw a couple in here. Um, and I've got baby uh, baby horehound here as well. This is the main plant. I took out a big plant of a clump of this stuff, which is the native uh, yellow cone flower, because it was crowding this out, because I want the horehound to grow. I'd, I'd like to make some horehound, um, horehound syrup, maybe? Maybe even some horehound candies if I got ambitious enough. And the mullen, which is doing okay. Oh yeah, and the, the uh, elecampane, I thought it was gone, but the root's still in there. Some more elecampane coming up. Lots of uh, catnip this year. Uh, I remember what else I want to get. I want to get an angelica. Angelica Archangel, Archangel, however you say it, just the, not Chinese Angelica. Um, there's all the foxglove. This one looks like it's getting ready to bud and bloom already. And all the meadow sweet. And there's a little native delphinium there. And there's Avery's trails where she has been following uh, something. Um, probably a vole. And all my lovely Linaria there. I'm, I wanna get some more rhubarb too. This one was flowering, so I cut off the flowering stalk as well as these, but I love rhubarb. So I wanna get more rhubarb and maybe plant it further out in the sun there. Waiting. All this stuff is going to fill in. It's, it's amazing how it does over time. So I try to be somewhat aggressive at, at thinning it out. Hey, Marie. Let's see. Where are things going over here? Raspberries are looking nice. They've put out nice new growth. Uh, I planted some flat leaf parsley in here. Yeah, there's nothing else new. Um, the Aquilegia is going to be blooming soon, and it's looking pretty vigorous now, so I've been getting that to spread, and I really like the Aquilegia. Avery, let's go out back. Come on. Yes, I have lots and lots of Lunaria out here. <laughs> Another neighbor going by. At least I didn't try to wave with the hand that the camera's in all the lily of the valley is coming up as well as all this periwinkle which makes me crazy um this azalea is going to be blooming soon avery come on let's go out back come on oh this is the these are just putting out a lot of blossoms this year more so than they ever have this is another uh black currant and this is finally getting some growth on it after I trim them back fairly hard. The Rosa Canina. There's some peonies. Avery, come. Avery, come on. Avery, come. Let's go. Hurry, come on. Yeah. And go out back. See if there's anything to show the peoples on the video out back. Let's look and see. What have we got back here? Still haven't harvested any uh, nettles, and it's <laughs> letting them get kind of big. Um, come on. I suppose I could always use them for tea. Bleeding heart. Um, 
I remembered, that's what I realized, this was the other day, I did another video and I said I didn't know what that was, that's another bleeding heart right there. But here's all the Solomon seal coming up there. I forgot that I had a couple May apple right there as well. And then the May apple back here, May apples. <laughs> Still no blood, uh, blood root. Still no blue cohosh. Oh well, black cohosh is doing okay. But look at all the little May apples covered in pollen. There's some big ones there too. That one's gonna have a blossom, it looks like. Um, and that I think is it. The bluebells are just about done. Hopefully they'll drop some seed there, and we'll have more. I meant to mow back here, but I thought it was going to rain, and then it didn't. But that's probably okay, because we didn't need to push it that hard. Hey, Avery! I might move this rhubarb out front. It kind of never does a whole lot here, and it seems vigorous enough. There's the hask up here. And... Oh, so much pollen everywhere. Oh my god. Blueberry blossoms there, and that's it. That's um, the garden in uh, mid-April. <laughs>